How do you calculate actual distance on a map? How far is it to my grandmother's house? In this lesson, you will learn how to calculate actual distance on a map by using a scale. Let's review. A ratio is a comparison of two or more quantities. If we have five triangles and ten squares, the ratio of triangles to squares is five to ten, or one to two if we simplify the ratio. A proportion is a mathematical statement of equality between two ratios. Five to ten equals one to two is a proportion. In this example, we compare five triangles to ten squares, or one triangle for every two squares when simplified. A scale factor is a number by which all dimensions of an original figure are multiplied to produce the dimensions of a new figure. In this example, we multiply width and length times the scale factor of 2 to equal scaled width and length of 2 and 4. Notice the unit of measures are the same. A scale factor on a map is a number when multiplied by actual distance results in scale distance on a map. This map has a scale factor of 500 thousandths. If the actual distance from point A to point B following the road is 2 kilometers, to convert it to map distance of centimeters, we first have to convert 2 kilometers to centimeters, which equals 200,000 centimeters. 200,000 centimeters times the scale factor of 500 thousandths equals 1 centimeter. The scale on the map will be 1 centimeter equals 2 kilometers. This means that every 2 kilometers in actual distance is represented by 1 centimeter on the map, which represents the actual distance. A scale on a map is defined as a ratio of distance on a map to the corresponding distance on the surface the map represents. The scale helps you find the actual distance. A scale on a map is a ratio that compares the distance on a map with the actual distance. Here are some examples of map scales. 1 to 100,000 units of measure. 1 centimeter equals 1 kilometer. 1 to 100,000 units of measure. The distance on the map is always the first number in the ratio. Notice the units of measure on the scale of the map are not always the same as with scaled geometric shapes where the measurements are always the same. This map has a scale of 1 inch equals 2 miles. Let's use the map scale to find out how far it is from my house to point A to point B. The map scale is 1 inch on the map equals 2 miles in actual distance. This can be written as a 1 to 2 ratio. The measure of the distance on the map from point A to point B, including turns, is 5 inches. We have to include turns because the distance traveled is by the street, not a straight line from point A to point B. We can set this up like an equation comparing the ratio of map distance to actual distance, 1 to 2 equals 5 to D, where D is the actual distance. We can see the multiplicative relationship in the equivalent ratios. 1 times 5 equals 5, then 2 times 5 equals 10. Therefore, the actual distance from point A to point B is 10 miles. Ratios in an equation format are called proportions because they are equivalent. Let's try another problem. We are going from school to soccer and then home a different way from soccer. What is the difference we travel now? This time, our map scale is 1 centimeter to 10 kilometers. This means every one centimeter we measure on the map equals 10 kilometers. We measure 7 centimeters for the full trip one way. First we set up this proportion with the actual distance represented by D and we see the multiplicative relationship of 1 times 7 equals 7. So we know that 10 is multiplied times 7 to get the actual distance of 70 kilometers. We know this is this we know this because every 1 centimeter equals 7 kilometers, so 10 centimeters would equal 70 kilometers, the actual distance. Remember the scale on a map is the ratio of the map distance to actual distance. 
proportional ratios show the multiplicative relationship, and then we can calculate the actual distance. Comparing map distance to actual distance. A common misunderstanding is measuring the distance on a map from point A to point B without including turns and curves. This would be incorrect, as you can see by the red line. Measuring a straight line would not be the actual distance from point A to point B, which follows the roads, including turns and curves. In this lesson, you have learned how to calculate actual distance on a map by using a scale.